This is an example of uh, tick surveillance that we do called flagging. And we take this one by one square meter piece of flannel attached to a dowel rod and we push it through the leaf litter like this to find mainly what we're looking for here is nymphs or larvae but you can also pick up some adults and then you flip over the flag and you look to see if you find any ticks and it's nice that it's white because then you can see the dark ticks up against the white material but it doesn't have to be white so now I'm gonna look at my flag and see if I found any ticks and it looks like yes indeed I did did find a tick. I can tell from experience that it is a female Exodi specific Pacificus or Western black-legged tick and um, that is a vector of Lyme disease and I just grab the tick with my forceps to just pick them up and put them in the vial. I have my vial with my information on it um, here already um, and I have some other ticks in the vial also. Now here on the flag we see that we have two different stages here and which are the adult female western black-legged tick or Exodi specificus and you can see that there's a dark dark brownish red area towards the back and then the black um, in the front and eight legs. She's crawling around there and she's actually questing. You can see her front two legs are up. She's looking for basically me. She's looking for her blood meal. And this is an adult male, Exodi specificus or Western black-legged tick. And he is again, he will bite. But what we're interested in here is really the female. She is a vector of Lyme disease. And in here in California, one to two percent of these adult females are infected with Borrelia burgdorferi, which is the causative agent of Lyme disease. Over here is something, this, this is the size of a nymph here. Nymphs are important. They're a younger stage of the adults, the western black-legged tick. And the nymphs are important because we basically see zero to 20 percent of them infected with Lyme disease in California. So you can see they're much smaller. I'm going to scoot this one back over to give you an idea. You can see they're much smaller than the adult females and harder to find once they're actually on you. So that gives you a little bit of an idea. There's also another stage called a larva and it is, again, even smaller than the nymph. So those are harder to see also, but not as important. The important ones for Lyme disease transmission, you wanna make sure you get them off right away. If, if you can, are the nymphs and the female Exodi specificus, a Western black-legged tick 